Today I'm playing Nuclear Rune by Fanes. The title screen is intriguing. It's a little bland, but it draws me in. Let's see the settings. Volume. Oh, nice. I like to see lots of options in the setting menu. Health bars, damage number, combat text. I'll just leave it default. You can bind controls. That's great. Okay, just go with default, and if I need to change them, I will. Easy, please. The nuclear tech was banned long ago by the church. Which church? Uh, tutorial, please. Tactical mode, press space to toggle. Okay. Mouse click does nothing. WASD moves the camera. Ah, right click. Here we go. View tips by hovering over these mysterious things. Move camera by dragging with middle mouse or hovering the mouse near the edges of the screen. I don't actually have a middle mouse button and hovering the mouse doesn't seem to work, but WASD does work, so I'll use that. Right click to move. Select a hero by clicking in the world or on its avatar. Multiple heroes can be selected by holding shift. Okay. Right click on an enemy to attack. Use skills by clicking on the skill icon or pressing the hot key button. What are my skills? Press space to toggle tactical mode, which is either pause or slow motion. Can be changed in the settings. Okay. So if I select my swordsman, he has glaive toss. Throw a bouncing glaive. Let's do it. And the troubleshooter has crystal barrage. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, I like that my swordsman auto-targeted to the next enemy. Got some gold and experience. Okay, let's do gutter one. Entering combat. Same people as last time, but more enemies. All right, swordsman, do your... Uh, Glaive throw and trouble shooter. Was that his name? Pack cast your spell. Okay, trouble shooter, get in the fight. Uh, do the glaive spell again. Nice. The the combat is kind of visceral. Uh, the hits feel powerful. Oh man, <laughs> he just exploded into chunks. That's pretty nice. I know the uh, the character models are not the highest quality, but um, because everything kind of has kind of has a consistent aesthetic, it it looks good. New stuff. I got a healer. Squad size increased to three. Unlock heroes and update squads from the squad selection screen, and also a shield hero. Okay, so I can only take one more healer or a shield hero I guess we'll take the healer who doesn't have a cool icon like the other ones I can upgrade my classes let's upgrade the warrior oh I can't seem to do that okay well, let's do the ranged gauntlet I see. So all these are ranged fighters, which means that my swordsman will probably get cut to shreds. Healing so. Okay. Well, let's just go for it and see what happens. Okay. Spellcaster, do this. 
swordsman do that and then swordsman get closer whoa that was close okay and healer cast healing here I like the little uh, the pathfinder ticks that it shows how your units are going to move yeah overall the game feel is very nice And it is starting to feel pretty tactical, which I like in this sort of game. T-Bone Zone. Let's get a new hero. Um, oh, I don't have enough gold. Okay. Okay, there's some on the left and some on the right soon, but not yet. Okay. So let's advance and we'll have the caster hit there okay swordsman attack him my characters feel slightly overpowered to be honest all right, spellcaster hit there. Um, swordsman hit him with your glaive. Healer, go ahead and make a healing circle there. Is there more? There is more. Okay, spellcaster, do your thing. Ooh, that was messy. Hex end zone. Neat. Well, here they come. Okay. Spellcaster. Cast your spell. Warrior, throw your glaive. Oh. Uh, I think I found a bug. I don't think I was supposed to win that so easily. But I'll take it. I guess that's the end. Is it? Oh, neat. I get to travel places. The enemies only feign death until you leave? What does that mean? Well, there's a lot more here, but I think I'm going to call it here. Um, this is really interesting. The The game feels really good. It's easy to control, which is super important in a tactics game. And the the units feel responsive, and they feel like... They, they, they have a nice balance of making their own decisions, but also following what I tell them to do, which is also really important. Um, yeah, I... A lot of good things to say. Um, I see a lot of potential for this. The only thing that I would want is it'd be cool if the levels were a bit longer so that you sort of had to balance your resources as you go through the levels instead of just focusing it all on one big fight. And maybe they do get longer as these levels go on because uh, I'm not going too far into it. But yeah, this was really nice. Good job. I look forward to seeing how this one improves.